Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi. Welcome to Cut the Tape. I'm still Rick Alvarez. Uh, this is my special secret meeting room where I uh, hide all the things that I buy for my wife. And um, <clears throat> so today, I, you know what? I also hid this from my wife. I'm not supposed to have soda. She doesn't watch this show. I thought we would just do a marathon today. <clears throat> Lucas is busy with work, so he probably won't edit this, and so maybe Saturday, Sunday, I don't, I don't know. But, I got a package. I'm filming this on Friday. <clears throat> I want to film this uh, with this particular item, because I really want to check out the box. I got a, I got a package from Amazon, and uh, who's inside? <laughs> So this is a double cut because I'm cutting the box <clears throat> and then I'm cutting the box inside the box. So got some nice this, <clears throat> but I got this and in typical fashion, the box is damaged. It looks like the Amazon box got damaged, so. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this will definitely be an open because the box is damaged, so we'll have to order another one and hope that one comes mint. Uh, so, this is Sleep Mode Optimus, which is always a weird way of putting it. Um, so, Takara made a Sleep Mode uh, MP01 which was the first Masterpiece Optimus Prime. Uh, it's still up there. I see it right now. It's still in its box. Uh, it comes with the trailer, with the Masterpiece trailer. Uh, there's no new molding on it. <clears throat> but I've actually never opened it, because I just... I mean... What's the point? But now Hasbro has made a Sleep Mode Prime. And it's weird that they call it sleep mode. See, I would have called it deactivated prime or stasis lock prime. Uh, but this is this is supposed to represent the dead Optimus Prime from the uh, original animated Transformers film from back in the 80s. So, uh, let's give it a, a look. It's... Uh, Comes in your typical generations box, brown box, but this one is specific to this character. It's printed. It's got some new artwork on it. In the window, it's got the people who were basically looking over Optimus as he was dying. Hot Rod, uh, RC, and Ultra Magnus. Uh, I would imagine that over here you would you should have like Perceptor in his. Yeah, just don't tell mommy what I'm doing. That's Maddie. She's going to come down. Oh, I got to hide this. I'm going to put that right there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to. <clears throat> so, um, it's weird the way this box looks to open because <sighs> instead of just being a box where you pull the flap up, it looks... like this opens this way to reveal your sleep mode optimus it's 
So he secured with uh, some wraps into the plastic tray. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not called Sleep Mode Optimus. It's called Alternate Universe Optimus Prime. Alternate Universe. Uh, I, I, I don't know what that means. But it's got a really cool head in that it's got a battle damaged head. It's, uh, it's got the little deco representing where Megatron threw the shard. And, uh, and he's laying on his trailer, which kind of looks like the gurney, I guess. So, um, interesting enough, the regular Optimus Prime, I guess there was a production error and something got mixed up. The molds got mixed up. But the regular Optimus Prime and the regular Deco has been coming with this battle damaged head in the actual Optimus Prime color. So not in this color. So it's this head from this figure, but in the proper colors for Optimus Prime on the regular release of Optimus Prime. So a few of those have been showing up. If you have one, let me know. Because I need it. So sleep mode. What was that? So, uh, let's, let's take this out. It's just a couple of twist ties and some plastic bands. This guy is blaster. And the blasters, I don't know why the blaster silver. Did the blaster die too? I don't know. But. What do you want, Maddie? Kids. I got at least the two that I know of, you know. Uh, so right here. A silver blaster. I don't know why the blaster silver. I don't know why the trailer is gray also. So, in the original film, when a Transformer died, I, I guess, you know, when Optimus Prime died, he, you know, he turned gray. But then in Dark Awakenings, which was an episode where they brought him back, he was back to his old color. So, I don't know. It's, it's a cartoon, man. It's a car. It's just a cartoon. Buddy, it's a cartoon. Don't worry about it. So I actually think this works pretty good as a gurney for him. You can just kind of put him there, and now he's dead. It's dead Optimus. Or now he's on the floor. Now it's floor Optimus. Five second roll. Okay. Actually, that kind of works a little better. So this comes off. And a lot of times, and including on the image in the packaging, or the instructions, they show this here, which was never in the fiction, ever. But, and it also doesn't really connect very well. It's tolerance is, like, just awful. Oh, you know, I try to show something, and then it's like, yeah, it could be a little tighter. He's got his arms. So, what? oh my god. This is just... Kids, man. So Sleep Mode Optimus, whose gun also died. And his, tra his trailer died. And... Uh, I guess, you know, they could have painted this to look like Perceptor. This, this, to look like Perceptor. <sighs> that actually kind of works, like his gun's bent a little bit because he got, he got messed up because Hot Rod got in the way. That's what this needs to come with. It should come with a Hot Rod, like, and he would be called Apologetic Hot Rod. And later on, they can make a cup, and it'd be like, not your fight cup. Are you on the other side? 
I'm, I'm like doing a sh Oh my god. Apparently one of my kids is lost in the basement. Could you, could you like go away? Trying to look for Maddie. All right, do it quieter. Thanks, okay. bye. Uh, this is, I also want to open this. Just because Lugnut was one of my favorite characters on Transformers Animated. I'm really hoping they bring back Animated after Kingdom and call it Reanimated. So, this is the second one I got. I have to compare it to the first one. Hopefully there's no variations. Okay, so the first one doesn't appear to be any variants. I checked the twist ties. I gotta check the back. First one I got looks to be in a better packaging. I like to check the, uh, the codes on the back. They're from the same lot, same production lot. So I try to buy them in different places. Like if I see two on the shelf, I'll buy one. I won't buy two in, in the same store just because I wanna go to another store to see if they have a different production lot so I can compare. The chances of getting a variation are increases so um he's called clobber and Mama. i've always called him blinken Daddy. just because he's got the one eye i just thought oh he's blinking like from robin hood men in tights how crazy that mel brooks is still alive god i wish he was still making movies i hear his son's a writer So, uh, I've kind of been in a Cyberverse opening mood lately. Um, I'm finally at the point where I'm uh, setting up loose figures on shelves. And uh, I have all the Cyberverse stuff, and I've never opened any of it. So, all right. Hey, how about you get stuck quiet? So, I've been opening the Cyberverse stuff. And I gotta say, last night I opened a bunch of these, uh, what is this assortment called? Energon armor. So I opened up a bunch of these Energon armor guys last night. And it was just like, not impressed. But I saved him for last because he is one of my favorite characters and I'm glad he exists other than an animated. They made a really cool Generations figure of him. Uh, did I work on that one? I can't remember. It's all a blur. Blur. Uh, so these are... What I noticed about these Energon Armor guys is that their functions don't really work except for his. All the other ones don't work. Hot Rod, Bumblebee, they definitely don't work. Blinken, of course his works. <sighs> because of course it does. Of course it does. All right, let's see. What does he transform to in this universe? Oh, a tank. You know what? I'm not turning him into a tank. Uh, I I refuse to do that. He's got wings on him. He should be a goddamn plane. <sighs> yeah, no, I think I think she died. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. Yeah, you should go look for, go look for her outside. Okay, bye. It's weird, too, because I'm filming this at, like, 
1 a.m. and like the kids are still just like walking around. So we'll put him there. We'll put we'll put uh, alternate universe Optimus Prime. What is it? What is that saying? Alternate universe Optimus Prime. Like what does that imply? Alternate universe Optimus Prime. Like what is that? That's that's. Anyway, one more thing I wanted to open. I had a whole box. This whole box is just Cyberverse stuff that I have to open to put on the shelf. But, uh, Thunderhell, I have not seen many episodes of the show. I'm still, like, through season one. Um, but everyone, like, loves Thunderhell. And everyone's like, oh, I got Thunderhell, I got Thunderhell. Is, is he in the show? I don't know. I'll get through the show eventually. I mean, if I sat through GoBots, I guess I can sit through this. But then there's Rescue Bots, and I that just gives me a headache. All right, so let's compare, contrast. This is my process. This is what I go through. This one's definitely the one we're going to open. No visible variations. Let's check the, uh, the lot number. They are two different lot numbers. It's amazing. You can see, like, over time, all the extra languages that have shown up on the back here. It just used to be, like, tri-logo language. English, Spanish, French. And now there's, like, Farsi on it. Uh, Portuguese. I think even Russian. So, Thunderhound, Knight of the Primes. That sounds cool. He's the Knight of the Primes. This guy looks like he needs to be repainted into, like, a Wolf Fang. Or, uh, I don't know, who is that one from, uh, from Cybertron? You know, that one. You know, I was thinking today, how crazy is it that we're getting, you know, we couldn't get a G1 RC for years. And then it's like, oh, here's RC every single line. All right. How crazy is that? All right. Wow. Well, first, right off the bat, this guy's got way more articulation than anybody else does. Holy crap, this feels like a real figure. Not like, hey, it came in the open packaging for kids to touch type figure. Uh, so this open air packaging serves uh, two purposes. One, kids uh, like things that they can touch. The tactile contact makes them want to buy it more. And two, uh, it also saves money on packaging. Put that in the instructions bin. Energon armor, 13 steps to change him. It's not soda, it's actually whiskey. <sighs> All right, so he's got a cape, a, a solid cape which I guess the Energon armor can't activate if he's got the cape on. But capes are cool. You don't often see Transformers with a cape. Uh, capes. He's got a sword. Oh, Thundertron! This dude could totally be repainted as Thundertron. And then this actually goes here, plugs into his hip. We can even repaint him into Transmetal Silverbolt. Knight of the Primes. See, now this... 
this is an interesting character to me. Does this come off at all? Oh, it comes off. And this actually, all right, so you gotta take the, you gotta take the cape off, but then this plugs right in here, and then it shoots off when, <laughs> when the armor is activated. I don't think it's supposed to shoot off. Let's see. Stay. There we go. It's a hard fit. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit when the uh, when the armor comes up. Wow, this guy's got a lot of articulation compared to the first couple figures in the uh, that I opened last night, especially Hot Rod. But I mean, this is skewed towards younger kids. I mean, you can't, you know, can't complain too much about it. Uh, those claws are cheap. Cheap transformation. And then you plug the tail into the butt. A little butt tail action. I think they use the same Pantone colors as uh, Transformers Prime Skyquake. Where does the sword go? I don't know. I guess the sword goes somewhere. I'll, I'll have to mess with it later. But then you can put... So you got the wolf. Then you put the cape on the wolf. He should have been a triple changer, and this could have been like a sail if he was like a sailboat. Right, and this would have been the, right, that would have been the oar, the mast, and then he would have been a sailboat. That's a free idea for you. Triple changer. From wolf to sailboat. And do a Moana crossover. I like this. This is, this feels like an actual, like, real figure for the most part I mean the hands are you know uh, but the hips are a little wonky they plug in all right Doesn't quite stay, but hey. I hear the deluxe version is uh, considerably better from the Build-A-Figure assortment. So uh, I think that might be it for tape cutting today. Oh, the hips are wonky. Yeah, because they actually, they go up. Oh, man, just when I want to like something, like, God, I want to like this figure, but, yeah. This is the same line. This is what I was bu busy waiting up to watch 30 Rock opening this guy up. <sighs> I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't know why I collect these. It's just exercises and frustration and money laundering. Well, that's some good cut the tape.
We we cut some tape today. We definitely definitely cut some tape today. I'm making room in my basement, and then next week I got a surprise for you guys. Uh, I've made so much room in my basement. Uh, I've made so much progress with shelves and lighting. I'm gonna give you guys a special tour of the basement next week, and uh, maybe there'll be a prize. All right, wash your hands. Remember to vote. Email me at cutthetapetftalk.net and be kind to each other. Always be kind to each other and please wear a mask. It's okay if you don't want to believe the news, but believe me, wear a mask.